Jurassic World, Zach and Gray Mitchell, Nick Robinson and Ty Simpkins, are two brothers who are sent away from their divorcing parents for a vacation at the dinosaur theme park, Jurassic World on Isla Nublar. After the failure of Jurassic Park, billionaire industrialist Simon Misrani, Yerfin Khan, re-envisioned John Hammond's plans and reopened the theme park. Zach and Gray's aunt, Claire Deering, Bryce Dallas Howard, is the operations manager for the park. Claire is an extremely busy businesswoman who has sacrificed family and relationships to reach her level of success. She assigns her assistants are, Katie McGrath, to babysit her nephews and act as their tour guide for the island. However, Zach and Gray become bored of her tour and are able to ditch her and explore the park on their own. Meanwhile on the far side of the island, U.S. Navy veteran and ethologist Owen Grady, Chris Pratt, is training four of velociraptors named Blue, Echo, Delta, and Charlie to respond to human commands. Owen's research indicates that the raptors are highly intelligent and will respond to a human alpha. The research is impressive, and engine security Vic Hoskins, Vincent D'Onofrio, believes that the raptors can be weaponized. Owen opposes Hoskins' ideas. Jurassic World has been suffering a decline in attendance. People have gotten bored with dinosaurs. Miss Ronnie and Claire have developed a new dinosaur with the assistance of the park's geneticist Dr. Henry Wu, B.D. Wong. The new dinosaur, the Indominus Rex, is a cross of different dinosaur DNAs. The Indominus has been kept on the far side of the island due to its erratic behavior. Miss Ronnie asks Owen to evaluate the Indominus's enclosure. Owen warns Claire that the animal lacks social skills since it has been raised in solitary, making it dangerous and unpredictable. When Owen examines the enclosure, he finds it empty and presumes the dinosaur has escaped. Owen and two park workers enter the enclosure and discover that the Indominus can camouflage itself and mask its heat signature. The dinosaur is still inside the enclosure and kills one of the workers. The other worker opens the gate to escape, which allows the Indominus to escape its enclosure. Outside the enclosure, the Indominus kills the other worker, while Owen pours gasoline all over himself to mask his scent, which keeps him alive. The Indominus moves across the island killing indiscriminately. Owen advises Miss Ronnie to kill the dinosaur immediately. However, the CEO wants to protect his company's investment, and dispatches a specialized unit to tranquilize the beast. The unit is killed by the Indominus, and Claire orders the evacuation of the northern half of the island. On the north side of the island, Zack and Gary are riding in a glass ball tour vehicle. They enter a restricted area and encounter the Indominus, who proceeds to destroy their vehicle. The two boys get out of the vehicle and are able to escape the Indominus by jumping off a waterfall. The two boys eventually find the original Jurassic Park Visitor Center, and are able to start an old jeep and drive back to the main resort. Claire, concerned for her nephews, recruits Owen to help her find them. They follow their trail to the Visitor Center, where they are attacked by the Indominus. They barely escape. Miss Ronnie uses his helicopter to track the beast, and they attempt to kill it from the air. The Indominus breaks into the park's aviary, releasing the flying dinosaurs. Those dinosaurs collide with the helicopter, causing it to crash into the aviary, killing Miss Ronnie and his passengers. The flying dinosaurs attack the resort guests at the main shopping center. Owen and Claire lead an army of armed personnel who take down the swarming pterosaurs with tranquilizers. Claire reunites with her nephews, who wonder who Owen is. After Miss Ronnie's death, Hoskins assumes command of the park. He orders that the raptors are to be used to track the Indominus. Initially, Owen refuses to help, but eventually agrees, after he realizes that the mission has a better chance of success with him. Owen leads the raptors and a small force of security personnel into the jungle on a motorcycle. When the raptors locate the Indominus, the larger dinosaur begins speaking with the raptors. Owen realizes that the scientists that created the Indominus use raptor DNA in its genetic makeup. Additionally, Owen realizes that the raptors have a new alpha and its dinosaurs are no longer under his command. The security forces fire on the Indominus, but it manages to escape. The raptors kills most of the security detail, but they do manage to kill one raptor. Claire evacuates her nephews from the raptor area, and Owen is able to catch up to them while being pursued by the three surviving raptors. Once at the lab, Owen and Claire discover that Hoskins has ordered Wu to gather his research in dinosaur embryos and leave the island. Hoskins attempts to secure more embryos, but Delt enters the lab and kills him. Once outside the lab, Owen is able to re-establish his alpha bond with the three surviving raptors. When the Indominus reappears, the three raptors work together to attack the larger dinosaur. Delt and Echo are killed, and Blue is knocked unconscious. Needing more teeth, Claire releases the Tyrannosaurus Rex from the original Jurassic Park from his paddock and leads it back to the Indominus. The two giant dinosaurs battle, and the Indominus begins to get the upper hand until Blue rejoins the battle. The two dinosaurs are able to force the Indominus back against the lagoon's edge, where it is attacked by the Mosasaurus, the park's large underwater dinosaur. The Mosasaurus drags the Indominus under the water killing it. The survivors are systematically evacuated from the island. Zack and Gray are reunited with their parents, who decide not to get divorced. 
Claire and Owen decide to become a couple, and the island is abandoned again. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.